Here we have kind of a close-up view of the ideal uh, VDV multimedia tester, and again VDV stands for voice, data, video. And when we look at the main unit here, you'll find four buttons in the front of it. Of course, it says those basic words. You also see a, a tone button for doing tone generation, and uh, these are the basic functions of the meter. On the main unit, you'll see on the top kind of a, a, a coax remote here right on the end. Uh, you'll find a, a phone port also, as well as a category port for attaching those wires to, again, the main unit. And when we look at the back of the tester, there's a little black section here in the back that says remote. And we pull that remote out. Uh, there is, again, a remote here that we can attach to the other end of our cables. And uh, again, there's a phone port and a, uh, and a Cat5 port. And then there also is a, a, a coax remote here in the back that if we remove at the back end here, uh, we can uh, put on actually an outlet in a room someplace. And uh, that will then, of course, send a signal back to the tester that's in the other room that we can attach again the wire to the top of the tester. But if I simply just took the remote and plugged it into the top of the tester, and then I'm going to, of course, hit the video button over here. It's now uh, taking a test for me, and on the very top, you'll see the lights are flashing. It says video, and right below it, it says pass. And then it also says over here, uh, number one, meaning it sees the first remote out there. And these uh, testers do come with multiple remotes if you need them. Uh, and if I put the fifth remote out in the kitchen or someplace like that, and I uh, got that indication here, well, then the wire test tested would be the one that fed the kitchen. So now, of course, I would pull the remote out of the top of the tester here. Uh, the tester should uh, indicate an open. And uh, that's all it's going to do for coax is basically look for opens and shorts in that coax cable. And if I push any other button, it should uh, turn the tester off for me. Okay. Now, if I want to do basic phone testing, well, then I would have to take a phone cord and uh, plug it into the top of the tester here and uh, attach a, a basic phone little cord here. And I'm going to take the remote and uh, plug that into the other end of this uh, uh, wire like that. And now I'm going to do a test on voice. So here I'm going to hit the vo button that says voice. The tester comes on and it uh, indicates that it's uh, seeing several different things now, actually. And um, across the very top, again, it's, it's flashing voice, so you're doing, vo doing voice testing. And when you look at the two rows of numbers, you, you see two rows, uh, one through six, and the top row is what it should be, the bottom row is what you actually have. Now, since this is a four-wire cable here, you're only seeing four of the six wires the tester could see. So pins one and six are indicating are not open on the bottom row uh, and, or on on the bottom row. And again, it's indicating an open there. Then you know, on the uh, middle pairs, you're seeing a complete a reversal of, of pairs here. So they're completely opposite of each other. Of course, the tester is also saying reverse over here as well. And uh, when you look at typical telephone patch cords like this, old analog phones require that those uh, uh, wires be uh, reverse wired like this in order for it to work properly. New digital phones don't care about it, they're not really uh, polarity sensitive, so the tester here actually shows this as an error, but if I was looking for that in an old phone cord, this would be fine. Now, you also see it saying split over here too. Uh, if you were worried about you know, using Category 3 wire for phone applications, and you're worried about split pairs in cabling, uh, uh, the tester would indicate that this is a split because this wire is not twisted, so it's indicating that split pair uh, indication to me. So in order to turn the split por pair portion off, I'm going to hit the, uh, the voice button, hold it down, and it's going to uh, say uh, uh, split pair off, and now that indication is now gone off the meter. So, And that is, again, basic voice testing for the cable. And if I remove the, t the uh, cable out of the tester, it should indicate an open here again. And again, if I hit any other button, it'll turn the tester back off. Now, if I want to do data testing, I would then take a known good patch cord and plug it into my remote here. And then on the top of the tester, again, I would take a, a, a good patch cord, plug it in the top of the tester. And since we're going to do data testing, we're going to hit this button over here that says data. And I'm going to hit that button once, and it's going to let go of it. And again, uh, you'll see across the very top, the word data kind of flashing, and it's letting us know that we're doing a, a data test. You see two rows of numbers that match, uh, and again, the top row of numbers is what you should have, uh, the bottom row of numbers is what you actually have, and uh, of course, the tester says pass because this is a good cable. So that's what you want it to look like when you see a good indication, okay? Now, if we're going to uh, do a test and check uh, for something that's bad, well, I'll take a bad patch cord and plug it into this remote, and again, on the top of the tester, I will take that bad patch cord and plug it into the top of the tester. 
And the tester was already in the data uh, mode, and it's going to actually start making the new test for you here now. And you're seeing uh, several miss errors in this cabling. And again, the top row number is what it's supposed to be, the bottom row is what you actually have. And on the bottom row, you see pins one and two, it says two, one, not one, two. So that's indicating there's a reversal in those first two pairs. And then on the uh, bottom row, you see three and four are not flashing. And that's indicating that there's nothing wrong with those two individual conductors. But five and six are, and you'll see that they're reversed. So they're, you know, under five it says six, and under six it says five. So, um, and what we've done here in category cabling is in pins four and five, uh, make a pair and pins three and six in category cable make a pair. And we've just basically miswired the fifth and sixth pairs here, and that's why they're both flashing, and it says miswire up above. And of course, uh, pin seven and eight, there's nothing lit up underneath those, and that's indicating that there's an open in that individual pair itself. So that's kind of basic uh, data testing that the tester will do for us. And of course, if we run across problems in doing testing like that, we might want to then uh, actually trace our wires, uh, and the tester does have a, a, a button on it that says tone. So if I push the button in tone here, now the tester up top here says data tone. Uh, the, you see all eight uh, numbers lit up. Uh, and on the bottom it says high low, indicating it's putting a tone out now on the cabling that I can pick up with a probe device. And this is again for use for tracing of wire. So if I take the probe device and hold my button down and push it next to the uh, outlet here, coming out of the meter, it is now making a, a sound that the probe can pick up so when I go to trace cables, okay? And again, the tester is indicating it's putting tone across all eight of the conductors. Now if I hit that tone button one more time, it's now going to put a tone down pins one and two. So now I'm just putting a, a tone down that, that pair. Hit it again, it's going to go down pins three and six, uh, five, uh, four or five in the middle, and then seven, eight. So I can put a tone down an individual pair if I'd like to. If I keep pushing buttons here, it's going to say one there. So now I'm just putting a conductor or, or tone down just the, sink, the first pair, then the second. Uh, and if I keep going all the way across here, I can put a tone down each individual one, and eventually it'll go back to putting a tone down all of them. Uh, you can also, if you care to, uh, put multiple different tones. So the tester has different tone modes, meaning sounds meaning I can set one to one sound and another to another sound and actually go trace two wires at one time. And the way we do that is we'll push this tone button down and uh, it will go to a high setting, uh, push it down and hold it, it goes to down with just a solid setting. Now it's putting out just a solid tone, okay? And so there are actually several different tones we can actually use on the meter to, again, trace wires and emit different sounds or tones down to cables. And again, if I hit any other buttons, it should turn the tester off for me. So uh, there you have it. That's the ideal uh, VDV multimedia tester, and uh, it's a great product. Uh, virtually everybody ought to have one of those.